Rishi Sharma is building up one of the world's richest historical legacies. He's spent years going all over the world interviewing World War II veterans. With each passing week and month, there are, of course, fewer survivors to uh, speak to, but he's already captured the memories of more than a thousand veterans. Uh, an invaluable bank of memories for the future. We are privileged that the young man is joining us. Now, hello to you, uh, Rishi. It's good to talk to you. Appreciate you taking the time. Uh, you're just 22, um, but you are clearly passionate about what you're doing. Uh, why do you love it so much? Well, I appreciate you taking the time uh, to talk about the heroes of the Second World War uh, with me. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always been interested in the Second World War. And uh, when I was in high school, I just wanted to meet these men face to face because, frankly, if it wasn't for men uh, who fought for the Allied side during the worst war in humanity, people like me would not exist. And, you know, I'm grateful to be alive, and I'm, I'm very conscious of the fact that many 19, 18, 20-year-olds were killed so that, you know, someone like me could have a chance at a life. And I find it to be my responsibility to document uh, the reality of the combat that these men from all the different allied countries went through so that we could live in a world where, you know, every day our homes are not bombed out or where we have the freedom to go up to anyone and say whatever we want without fear of re repercussions. You know, th those things were bought with bloodshed and sacrifice of people as real as you and I. And, and we owe it to the men who were killed that it's not going to happen again. Do you feel that, uh, that you want to speak to uh, soldiers who fought uh, as the enemy at the time as well? No. So the, the nonprofit I run, Heroes of the Second World War, our main focus is to interview allied combat veterans. I mean, while I appreciate the importance from a historical standpoint to gathering both sides of any story, I personally uh, wouldn't be comfortable because these men are my, they're my best friends, they're my heroes. And I don't think anyone would ever want to associate with someone that was trying to hurt or even kill their friends. Also, I wouldn't want to add to the injustice of the Holocaust or the rape of Nan King. I mean, that six year old, that, that six year old girl that was shoved in a gas chamber I mean, whether we like it or not, she's completely forgotten to history. And, and, you know, I would find it difficult that I would be providing a lasting legacy for the families of some of the German or Japanese veterans, whereas that little girl's family is never going to have anything of her. You know, and that's what's so powerful about these interviews that I do with the, the veterans is that, you know, 200 years from now, their great, great, great grandkids will still get to be able, you know, to hear them and listen to them and look at the way, you know, uh, they spoke and the way they acted. And, you know, it makes them so much more real. In a, in a sense, it's giving them an extended life. And, and I, I find the people who are most deserving of that are the people who saved the world and gave, the, and gave us all these opportunities, not the ones who tried to take it away. Uh, Rishi... I know, uh, and I'm sure that many people listening this morning will know from personal experience, speaking um, to parents, grandparents, whatever, that it's difficult to get them to open up about what happened to some of them during the war, um, memories that they want to lock away. Have you found that a challenge at times? You're, you're absolutely right. Um, so I've, I've been uh, honored that I've been able to meet just over a thousand Second World War combat veterans. And what I've noticed is, you know, my age is actually such a, a big asset, you could say. Um, I'm the same age many of these men were when they were in combat. I do loads of research before each interview. But most importantly, I don't, I'm not related to any of these heroes. So there's no emotional attachment. That's the thing that stops a lot of the men from sharing with their families, is that they love them so much that they wouldn't even want them to have to think about what they had to go through in the war. But when I come along, a total stranger, it gives these heroes an opportunity to get all of this stuff off of their chest. 
and, and it could be very cathartic. It ends up often being a, a therapy session because no one who saw their best friends getting killed or who had to kill someone just to survive another day should have that locked away in their head, you know, for a day, let alone 75 years. And so it's important that these men know that it's okay what they had to do and what they had to witness and that we're grateful for it. And uh, oftentimes when I send the DVDs of the interview to the family, I mean, they'll talk about, they'll reach out and say they've heard, you know, hours of things that they didn't even know about or that their father didn't want to share with them. And, and eventually that will lead to a conversation and, and uh, they'll have that understanding, which is, you know, so important. But any of the family members who feel that their dad or their grandfather does not talk to them, please don't take that as a sign of disrespect, but rather a sign of love. They just don't want you to even have to harbor the thoughts of what the war was like. Okay, Rishi, great work that you're doing. We appreciate you taking the time to join us and also to stay up so late to speak to us. No worries. Uh, the only thing I wanted to say is um, I'm still interviewing Second World War combat veterans, so if anyone knows any, please do reach out. It's at heroesofthesecondworldwar.org. We interview the veterans, we put it on DVDs, we mail it to them. It's all for free, and uh, please do reach out. Okay, Heroes of the Second World War. Dot org. Uh, again, thanks for joining us, Rishi. We do very much appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Have a good day, Thank you. You too. You too. Get some sleep. Thank you.